the Rift Breaker. All I have to say is holy crap. Now to be perfectly honest, I didn't know how to feel about this game upon first playthrough. This is a pretty unique experience. But after spending several hours playing this game, I realized that I was in for the fight of my life. This is actually a pretty unique game. The Rift Breaker is essentially a base building survival game with action RPG elements. You are filling the shoes of an elite scientist commando named Captain Ashley S. Nowak. Captain Nowak has entered a one-way portal through Galatea 37, which is essentially a distant planet in the far reaches of the Milky Way galaxy. You are forced to hack and slash your way across this planet searching for resources and minerals in order to build a base that will bring you back to Earth. In the process of building this base, you will encounter the residents of this planet, which aren't very friendly to you. Captain Nowak is equipped with a mecha suit named Mr. Riggs. This mecha suit is equipped with guns, energy swords, and other weapons that will help you on your journey back home. One of the unique things that I found about this game was its ability to mix several genres of games into one complex package. And by complex, I really mean complex. I was a tad lost initially when I first started playing this game, but after playing through the tutorial and understanding the mechanics, I realized that the complex mechanics were simply something I had to get used to and afterwards it felt just like riding a bike. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's break this game down into a couple of different categories. The graphics. I have to say that this is an absolutely beautiful game. One of the first things that I noticed how detailed the environments were. If you weren't in a constant life or death struggle, you would just be able to spend hours looking around this world. Seeing how beautiful the plants, mushrooms, trees, and everything else look. The colors are bright and vibrant, which is interesting considering the type of game that we're playing. I can't remember the last time I saw such a cornucopia of unique and compelling colors. The attention to detail when it comes to the large number of enemies that are on the screen simultaneously really show how well this game is built and polished. Exor Studios really did a great job building a game with great fluid gameplay. This game will definitely test your hardware capabilities to its utmost degree. I am also impressed with the fact that the game doesn't lag when a large number of enemies are attacking your base. Overall, this is definitely one of the best looking base building games I've played in a long time. The gameplay for the Rift Breaker is akin to Diablo and Starcraft in my opinion. One of the things I found most difficult in the beginning was how complex the building system seemed initially. However, over time I started to get used to the game's building mechanics and found them quite fascinating. The way you build a base is simply amazing. I love the ability to build several layers of walls simultaneously with just one character versus having a legion of workers building parts of your base individually. It's extremely satisfying to see tiny orbs fly out of the back of your mecha suit and the speed in which these walls are built definitely shows the power of Mr. Riggs. I did however find that mining minerals to build a base are a tad slow and often had to find myself physically drilling in order to get the stuff that I needed to build stuff faster. I also found it exhilarating when it came to defending your base from the enemy. Because you don't have a legion of worker bots by your side, you need to be able to get to different bases as quickly as possible. And that's where the rift system comes into play. You are able to set up different rift portals between different portions of the map in order to teleport towards your destination quickly. This really comes in handy when large swarms of bugs are attacking your base and you need to mount a quick defense in order to stop the oncoming onslaught. As I mentioned earlier, your mecha suit is also equipped with an energy blade and several guns along with bombs that surround your suit destroying enemies that might overwhelm you with one large blast. However, your ammunition is limited and if you don't set up an armory and the proper buildings in your base, you will quickly find yourself running out of ammunition to defend yourself against the swarm. Mr. Riggs is also equipped with a dash button that allows the good captain to move at a faster speed. However, once you point her in a particular direction, there is no stopping her once this takes place, making it difficult to control the direction in which your protagonist is moving. But if you're moving in a straight line, this mechanic is a great way to cover distance. The soundtrack for the Rift Breaker is nothing out of this world. After spending several hours playing this game, none of the tracks really stood out in my head as something that would be memorable. However, that can always change in the future with more playthroughs. The only time I really found a soundtrack for a base building game interesting was when I played the original StarCraft. Until this day, I can still remember the music from that game. Hopefully, when the game fully releases, it will accompany a large soundtrack and possibly change my mind. I wish I had more to say when it comes to the music, but until the game's full release, 
I won't really know how to feel about it. My overall thoughts on this game are positive. This is certainly a unique and beautiful presentation and a confident battle system, detailed environments to explore and much more. I look forward to the full release of this game so I can dive myself into hours of amazing gameplay. Just when I thought my base building days were over, I certainly found myself being reinvigorated with the thought of exploring this brave new world that our protagonist has to overcome in order to get back to Earth. The fact that you're stuck in this world alone and the survival elements that are in play make for a fascinating concept. And if this game has ongoing support from the developers with updates and bugs being fixed constantly being a thing, I believe this game has the potential to stand out with other greats in the industry. I want to thank XOR Studios and The Shaw Report for my review copy of The Rift Breaker. If you'd like to see what they're working on, I will be placing links in the description below to their work. I've been Neo Starling and I wanted to give a special thanks to you, the viewers, for being very supportive during this difficult time that we are all going through. If you like the content of my videos, please feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe. You guys are awesome and don't ever, ever let anyone tell you different. Signing off.